Hey guys, it's TV here. Welcome back to another video. So, March has just finished. The Easter holidays have just begun. And I've got all my March mock papers and my results. So, let's go through them. Yay. Just before I do start this video, I do want to make an announcement. So, those of you who have been on my channel for a long time and following my Instagram, etc. Um, you, you would have known that I have two Instagram accounts. Um, one called ztv.yt and the other one zach underscore studies so the first thing is main instagram account has now been changed i've changed the name to z underscore iz1a i don't know why it just sounds cooler uh z because the first letter of my name is z uh underscore iz1a um, which symbolizes my surname islam so the i then the z being a reversed s one in place of the l a where the a is and missing out the m edgy <laughs> so that's my new name and also i have decided to stop my study account completely um, i initially started that account as a source of support for other students motivation for myself from um 2020 2020 march lockdown i think it was and I was just posting a bunch of material, education news, my own work, my mock results and uh, my GCSE results, all of that stuff. But um, I'm now starting to realise it's getting a bit too much and it's best to stick to one Instagram account. So I have decided to only keep with my main. So do check out my Z underscore IZ18 Instagram account. Um, yeah, because the Zach underscore studies account, I will be deleting that by the end of this week. Um, so anyways, into this video, so March mock results. Can you believe it? This is our last set of A-level mocks before our real thing. Uh, I just calculated we've got less than a month before our real, real exams now. My first exam somewhere late May. Um, and it's quite scary to think this is our last practice, if you like, before the real thing um so i hope everyone took these seriously before we broke up um i went through all of these papers in exam conditions um and it's the 2021 set of exams um as you can see and um so these were locked so that's basically the most accurate way for teachers to test us and um i won't be going through any of the questions because i'm aware these papers are going to be used for mock exams in the future for other students but I'm just going to go over my general experiences, um, what I've got in each, what I'm on track for. Interesting fact, um, I have just completed my third biology Olympiad, so I now feel qualified enough to make a video based on that. Um, it's been a really interesting experience and I'll make a video based on that soon. But having got three certificates, which I feel so proud about. <laughs> First up, we've got biology. Uh, in biology, I managed to secure an A. I, I do OCR. In terms of the mark distribution, I managed to get a 59 out of 100 on paper 1, which was an A. 57 out of 100 on paper 2, which was an A. And then 43 out of 70 on paper 3, which was also an A. I think... Oh, yeah, okay. So, the last one, the last paper was one mark from an A star. But, you know, the grade we get is an average across the lot. So I got 159 out of 270, which equals uh, a secure grade A, uh, luckily. <laughs> um, and I was 10 marks away from the A star boundary. Biology is 100% my most favourite subject. I really do want to get an A star in it. I definitely do the most work around biology because it engages me more. That reading through it, I just made a few silly mistakes. Uh, and realistically, I can probably make the 10 mark jump. Uh, the other thing to note is that um, we're going through the last module and we we still haven't finished the entire course. And because this was a full set of paper, we will be in test. We were also tested on the things we actually we haven't we uh, weren't learnt. And rather, we were told on advanced information, so in a way cramming, which I wouldn't ideally do for the real thing. So. I think that element comes in uh, because by the time I sit my real exams, I would be quite solid across the whole course. So I do believe an A star is within reach. There was a question in paper one which really screwed over our entire class. Um, it was on photosynthesis. Um, I'm not going to mention 
anything about the question because it will probably come up in your exam. There's about 10 marks available for grabs and I managed to only get four. So it's my worst performing question. And yeah, they just give different tubes and they outline an experiment. And I just didn't know what was going on, to be honest. Um, that question really messed me up. But overall, I do believe it was, it was this was quite a good exam. And I do think I would probably be on track to get an A star, hopefully. Moving on to maths. So the thing to note with maths is that we have done no A2 stats or mechanics at all yet. And we still haven't finished A2 integration and we haven't finished A2 vectors. Um, and keeping that in mind, we had to like skip out the A2 vector questions, the A2 integration questions. And instead we did an AS stats and mechanics paper. So it's not really an accurate representation of our grade, but we had to go with what we had. So I got 62 out of... 100 on paper 1, 54 out of 100 on paper 2, 54 out of 60 on paper 3, which was stats and mechanics, um, which overall out to 180 out of 260, which is 69% A. So again, I feel quite strong about this. I was... How many marks was I off an A star? It was about 15 marks off an A star. I think from what I'm reading that is kind of scary but again looking through the paper there was about in paper one itself there was about 20 marks which was purely on integration about a couple of marks in vectors so ideally once I've covered that I should be a bit stronger and be able to get more marks in there um, and again with the stats and mechanics I don't know how much harder A2 stats and mechanics are compared to AS, because in AS I did quite well, um, but that's also a factor, so in a way it's not really accurate representation of what I what I got, so overall I managed to get an A, and I'm quite quite happy with that. I really do want to push for an A star in maths, but maths obviously there's a lot of, lot of smart mathematicians around the UK uh, who are doing A-levels in this, um, but we'll see what happens. Shout out to uh, maths boy, you helped me a lot. <laughs> psychology. So, psychology, I managed to secure an A star, luckily, in one of my subjects. But, it was really confusing, because when my teacher handed these papers out, firstly, um, it had an A at the front, but once I recounted the marks, I did secure myself into um, the A star boundary, because she missed out, like one entire section which I managed to get like 10 marks in um but yeah so for we only did paper two and three um in psychology because our teachers thought we done we've done so much assessment on paper one I think they might have ran out of assessment material or they might have just sympathized with us because we've gone over it so much um but in paper two I managed to get 72 out of 96 and then in um, paper three, I managed to get 76 out of 96, which adds up to 148 out of 192. 143 was required for an A star. So five marks into the A star boundary, which I'm really proud of. Um, and it, I think psychology, because we have covered the content, um, all of it, by the time I sit in this exam, uh, and I revised quite a lot, worked on my exam technique, tried to make my handwriting a bit neater because my handwriting is really messy. It really is. Wow. I just don't I don't think I made any silly mistakes. And that's what got me the A star. Uh, and I think I could probably replicate that in the final exam if I am consistent in my revision, which hopefully I am. <laughs> in my mocks before my real exams, I managed to get A star AA. Um, which would be sufficient for my firm choice. My firm choice is to study an integrated master's, uh, a four-year degree at Manchester University of Medical Physiology. Um, and I do need to get um, three A's to fulfil that offer and secure my place. Uh, but knowing me and my aspirations, I will be pushing for three A stars, uh, which is is really within reach it is possible just have to be smart about how I plan my revision out what I do 
how much time I allocate advanced information where appropriate so I can maximise my marks in the real thing. And hopefully stress doesn't mess me up. <laughs> I mean, my school predicted me an A star AA where the A star was in biology, but I just secured A star AA where the A star was in psychology. So predictions wrong. Um, but my own personal prediction, three A stars. I'm going to go for it. Let's go. Manchester, I'll see you in a bit. Finally, once again, um, do remember my Zach underscore studies account is no longer in use. Please do follow my Z underscore IZ1A account on Insta um, and my Zach IZ1A account on Snapchat. Um, and do subscribe <laughs> if you want. It would really help me um, because I do have high aspirations with YouTube. We'll see how that goes. I'm always here to chat. If you leave a comment, DM me. I'm always here to help you guys out.